Hello, I'm Eric Hanley, an Automation Specialist with ESNE, and in this video segment, we are going to review the PanelView 800 features and enhancements. We will also discuss the out-of-box hardware setup. The PanelView 800 is the successor of the PanelView component, and it is programmed using the software Connected Component Workbench or CCW. Before we jump into our content, ESNE offers online training through YouTube. So please like and subscribe to the ESNE TV YouTube channel for how-to applications and other automation content. Let's start with covering some PanelView features. The PanelView 800 is able to support email notifications based on an alarm trigger that occurs during the runtime. Emails are configured in the PanelView settings and enabled through the alarm setup. PanelView 800 also has its own library of objects. When you place an image object, it launches a symbol catalog and will allow you to import your own images as well. Another feature the PanelView 800 supports is file transfers using FTP. This allows a remote client to retrieve data such as alarm history, data logs, and recipes. The PanelView 800 also supports multiple trend data logs which then requires user management of the data. This means the data can be logged from multiple trends and the data will continually be stored until the storage device is filled. A new enhancement that has been added is the ability for the PanelView 800 to connect to a Compact Logix controller. The limitation is that only the smallest memory size controllers are accepted which are the 1769L30ER and the 5069L306ER. This provides a more cost-effective HMI option when utilizing these Compact Logix controllers. The main limitations for the PanelView 800 are the software will only allow connection to one controller and that you cannot have more than 50 screens or more than 400 tags. This makes the PanelView 800 great for small applications. Now we will move into the out-of-box hardware setup needed for the PanelView 800. The first step is to apply 24 volt DC to the power terminal. All PanelView 800s are only compatible with 24 volt DC, so do not apply 120 volt AC as this will cause issues. Once power is applied, the PanelView will launch the main configuration screen. We will need to assign an IP address to the terminal by going to the terminal settings, then selecting the communications button, and then selecting set static IP address. Ensure that the screen shows IP mode of static. If not, select the enable slash disable DHCP button in the top right corner of the communication screen. Also, you want to verify the firmware installed on the terminal. You can do that by returning to the main screen, then selecting Terminal Information. With CCW, your firmware does not necessarily have to match the software revision. As long as the software revision is newer than the firmware on the hardware, it will program with no issues. If you notice that you have a newer revision of firmware or an older revision of firmware, but you want to upgrade it, then you can do so using Control Flash Plus. As long as your software for the panel view meets or exceeds your existing firmware, then you are ready to start programming. As always, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact your local ESNE account manager or automation specialist.